Good morning and good morning to you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Good Morning Tottenham Away Friday episode right here, right here guys, from Hotspur Way. I haven't been in here for a little while, but finally we've got some decent weather where I can stand out here more than just a few minutes before the rain normally comes down. But how are you guys? I hope you are all well, whilst I get the little story up and running on my Fun right here, here we go, Hotspur Way, here we are, beautiful as ever, the grass has just been cut so it smells amazing, for those of you who love the smell of freshly cut grass, and I'm one of those, I love it, I love it, but many, many stuff, I'm maybe probably one, I don't know guys, but look, let me just start say, by, by um, obviously um, we start with the news of Yudoji who had a car crash yesterday, his car smashed into a bar. I'm not too sure as to what happened there, guys. I really don't. Um, as to what caused the accident and, and what the reasons for it was, uh, the police are involved investigations. It could be disciplinary from the club. We don't know. He's been breathalyzed, but we don't know the outcome of that, of all that. Let's hope it was just a misfortune and, 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 and you know, um, and uh, exactly what it is, an accident and nothing more. I'd hate to think there's anything more behind that. But we will find out in due course. But I do want to say, also tell you this nice little story I read this morning. Uh, there's a charity match due to take place on uh, May the 14th uh, with an incredible list of ex-Tottenham players that are due to take part of it. Um, I'll read, read it out to you guys. There are bog standard fundraising football matches and then there's the kind of game that only a kit man who has been at Tottenham Hotspur for 36 years can put on. Steve Dukes started working at Spurs in 1987 and it's fair to say he's become part of the furniture at North London Club over the decades. I was here when Gaza made his debut. Ain't it funny? I was only talking about Paul Gascoigne yesterday. Uh, he, he, even as a youngster, his PE teacher was the club's legendary double winning winger, Cliff Jones. So when the popular 55-year-old decided he was going to put together a fundraising match in memory of his father, Charlie, it was always going to be um, something special. Um, so, to put Jukes' popularity within Spurs and amongst the squad into context, um, the, the game's going to be played, at, like I said, May the 14th at Bishop Stortford's Football Club. Um, Ivan Perisic, who has been at the club for eight months, told him he wanted to play in his fundraising matches in the future. Uh, let's have a look at the, the who will be taking part. Harry Rendup is managing the Spurs team. Uh, Jurelio Gomez will be in, and Michael Vaughan will be in goal. Ledley King, Michael Dawson, Kabul, Bassong, Chimbonda and Stephen Kelly will be in defence. In midfield, you're going to have the uh, Davids, Lennon, Huddleston, Sandro, Wilson Palacios and David Bentley. And up front, you're going to have the likes of Robbie Keane, Jermaine Defoe, Dimitar Berbatov and Raphael van der Vaart. What a lineup, guys, honestly. So... Obviously, the opposition, let's have a look at them, realising the opposition team managed by Hollywood star Ray Winston was likely to be torn apart by a Spurs side featuring so much quality and an abundance of players. Obviously, there's going to be a host of celebrities. They've added to those celebrities, Yaya Toure, Joe Cole, Fitz Hall, Charlie Daniels, Wayne Routledge and Jamie O'Hara in the opposition team. Uh, he's got Carton Cole there as well, Marlon Harewood. Look, obviously you have to put a bit of quality in amongst the celebrities otherwise they're going to absolutely get torn to pieces by the ex uh, Spurs players so I look forward guys to um, uh, seeing that if I get the opportunity to head up to Bishop Stortford Football Club uh, to go and watch that game I will and uh, maybe give you a little bit of a lowdown if I do go there on this channel guys uh, Tottenham Hotspur as we know we're looking for a goalkeeper in the summer Again, we're linked to so many players, signing Longley, potentially Dyer gets a new renewal, and now we're looking at the goalkeeper replacement for Lloris, and we are severely interested in, severely interested? We really are interested in Alex Merritt, the Napoli goalkeeper. Uh, Hugo Reese has been to uh, Tottenham's long-standing goalkeeper, you know, for, has made, what, 445 appearances since joining North London Club in 2012. 
Um, obviously, time flies um, in that time that he's been there. But Napoli Culture Live, Tottenham have identified Merritt as one of their summer targets. Reports claim that Spurs want to make Merritt the number one goalkeeper, which would reduce Luis to a backup role. The 26 year old has established himself as Napoli's first choice goalkeeper following the departure of Davide Ospina last summer. Merritt has played 28 of Napoli's 29 league games this season, keeping 13 clean sheets this season to help his side move 16 points clear at the top of Serie A. The Napoli stop has a contract until June 24, but the Italian club have had the option to extend the deal by a further year. Uh, we, they're looking to, um, if they decide to sanction a the sale, then the Patronope club will reportedly look to receive a fee in excess of 40 million pounds. My, my, my. Listen, I saw Alex Merritt, he's been very good for Napoli this year, but for me, the, that, the other night, again, in the Champions League match against AC Milan, I wasn't very impressed um, with his general um, presence in, in the set pieces uh, overall. Decent shot stopper, but the goal, that if you go look at Benacer's goal, the only goal that was scored in that match, he went in there with his feet and not his hands. And for me, not... Um, not a fan of goalkeepers that choose their leg as the first option to make that save. And if you look at it, he should have done a lot better than what he ultimately ended up doing. I also saw the game, obviously, when in the league game between the same two teams, and uh, he wasn't, he didn't cover himself in glory in that 4 0 uh, defeat. The club, uh, the, sorry, the team wasn't great. Napoli wasn't great that game. But some of the guys, in particular the last, the fourth one where he just slips through his legs. I don't know, guys. I don't think this guy is the, the fit. Certainly not at that price. It remains to be seen what Napoli chooses to do with him at the end of the season, whether to extend that contract or not. However, I don't see him as a fit uh, for what we require. I'd rather have a, a goalkeeper that's played in the Premier League already, that's had experience. I don't know, be it the Brentford goalkeeper, be it the, the Brighton goalkeeper. I think they have more about them and also the fact that they've played in this league already. Um, uh, it, you know, for me, it, it's the way forward. Some, some, you know, Jordan Pickford is not a favourite for everyone, but he could also be it, come into the equation should Everton uh, not either not stay up or, or Jordan Pickford might decide it's time for him to move on. Also to safeguard his career and his, and his place in the international uh, stage two. Let me know your thoughts on all uh, we've spoken about. Obviously, um, particularly in the goalkeeper one would be one I'd be looking forward to hearing from you. Also, just to add to that, I'll be at the protest tomorrow um, outside the Spurs ground, opposite the sh opposite the club shop. Um, there's a there's a protest in place, a peaceful protest. So, if you guys are anywhere near the lane, you want to come over, have a chat, or what have you. I look forward to seeing you guys outside, uh, opposite the club shop, where 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 the where, the, where, where, where it will take place. Guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. We'll talk about a little bit about the match and the Bournemouth in tomorrow morning's video. So lock that in. We'll be doing Friday night live tonight, 8:30 p.m. Lock that in too. Subscribe to both Tottenham Away and Tottenham Away to this channel. And um, yes, yeah, so smash the like, smash the subscribe to both channels. And here we're moving forward to spread the word, guys. And as always, forever always, from very, very calm, I must say, Hotspur way, it's come on you Spurs. <laughs>